brought to you by the biggest real-time strategy game on a fully persistent MMO galaxy, Nova Saturno. Play against thousands of other players in an endless universe of galaxies where your strategic decisions have real consequences. You can help back Nova Saturno on Kickstarter or learn more at novasaturno.com. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Taylor, and Microsoft has shared their plans to release a new update for Xbox One to address some of the social features for Xbox Live, which have been widely regarded as a step back from Xbox 360. Xbox VP Mark Witten acknowledges the feedback and that stuff is hidden or harder to use than it was on the Xbox 360. So you're going to see us come out with an update where, well, we're going to fix those things. Witten has been involved in building the Xbox Live experience since 2003 and says he takes customer feedback seriously, especially when the feedback is disappointment over the newest iteration of these features. Let's take an update and really go through a big list of what we're hearing from customers and what we know is broken with the architecture, areas that we want to improve or complete, he says. The big priority for now is rethinking and reorganizing the party, achievement, and friend system, which has been criticized since the console's launch for being difficult to access and move between, unlike the Xbox 360, where they all lived together within the guide and were instantly accessible from within games and other apps. He also shares that major updates like those on the Xbox 360 that completely overhaul the interface will still happen on the Xbox One, but that the new system's architecture allows for smaller, more targeted improvements. He's aiming for some of those quick improvements to address getting apps out faster and improving the international offerings where they're not as strong as those available in the US. Unfortunately, one of the apps that won't be coming out any faster is Twitch Live Broadcasting from the console. That could be still as much as six months away. My general strategy at E3 is to talk about things that are gonna happen from that E3 to the next E3. So we are not yet to the next E3, Witten explains. And Twitch has confirmed that there is no ETA at this time from Microsoft. Expect a few more months though they decline to offer any more information. Microsoft announced that Twitch live streaming from Xbox One would be delayed until the first part of 2014, just days ahead of the console's launch in November. In contrast, Twitch streaming has been available on PlayStation 4 since its November 15th launch, and Sony announced earlier this week that 20% of all Twitch streams now come from the PlayStation 4. However, quantity doesn't always equal popularity, and console live streams have a long way to go to rival those from more established PC Twitch channels. As of the time of recording, the top PS4 stream has 247 concurrent viewers, putting it 90th in the top overall streams, and only three PS4 streams have even broken triple digits. In contrast, the top overall stream sits at more than 80,000 viewers, and the top 40 overall streams have more than 1,000 viewers. In further PlayStation news, Sony has revealed that for a good experience using their new Gakai-powered PlayStation Now feature, you'll need hefty internet speeds of at least 5 megabits per second, and that you'll notice some side effects of compression. The PlayStation Now team is currently estimating that a 5 megabits per section connection will provide a good experience for most games, and they'll be gathering user feedback during the closed beta before announcing more details, says Sony's Sid Schumann, who elaborates that, at this early stage of PS Now's development, pixel counters and graphic aficionados might spot some minor concessions in the visual department, such as compression artifacts. The closed beta will kick off later this month in the U.S. with a goal to roll out first to PS3 and PS4 in the middle of the year, with support following for PS Vita and Sony's Bravia line of TVs, then smartphones, tablets, and non-Sony devices later in its life cycle. Finally, Halo 4 art director Kenneth Scott has announced that he is stepping down as art director at 343 Studios in order to be with his family. His wife, Corey Yu, took a role at Naughty Dog in California in November, and that is quite a commute. Scott worked on Halo 4 for four years and is believed to have been working on the next Halo title for Xbox One and he will continue to work with the studio as a visual design consultant. Of his replacement, Microsoft says, we're thrilled to announce that Kenneth's longtime colleague and collaborator Nicholas Sparth Bouvier will step into the position of art director. And that's the big news for today. How do you think Microsoft should redesign the Xbox One's social features? Give us your thoughts in the comments below, then check out roosterteeth.com for a new episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch, to see what we think of the PlayStation Now.